Filmic Vlog, episode 15. It has been quite some time since I've done one of these. Um, but I figure in these um, in these waking moments of our uh, our national crises and also this you know global um, pandemic that is going on um, with COVID-19, I figure, well, you know, one, I have the time. And then uh, number two is um, sometimes giving uh, multiple perspectives is a very enlightening thing. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, you know, perspective is uh, how you perceive the world, how you perceive um, your reality. And right now for, you know, millions um, of us across uh, across the world and especially here in the, in the United States, let alone California where I'm from, um, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of doubt, there's a ton of uncertainty. And, you know, so your perspective of that could be uh, one that... Um, perhaps the nation won't recover. Um, it could be a perspective of uh, the economy is going to um, is going to collapse like it's done in the past, and this time perhaps maybe even uh, worse so. Um, but your perspective could be something entirely new, right? It could be um, a perspective of of change, of growth, of overcoming um, old old habits, old routines, old ways of thinking, old um, beliefs. You know that don't. Uh, really serve you or what you're trying to do in your life. And in 2019, last year I had an opportunity to go to uh, Rwanda. Uh, I didn't really talk much about it um, just okay. because it was a pretty, um, you know, a sensitive topic. Uh, I was going there for a mini documentary on the 1994 genocide. So we were interviewing yeah. uh, survivors, perpetrators oh, so um, from the genocide uh, that actually lived it, uh, as well as historians. Um, we visited a couple of memorial sites, you know, so these um, people that work at the memorial sites, they are, uh, you know, more or less experts on, on what happened. A lot of them are uh, Rwandan as well. I think all of them are Rwandan, <laughs> actually. Um, and uh, so, you know, your perspective of that as an outsider could be, um, you know, one of uh, one of grief, one of uh, empathy and, and compassion, you know, um, but to actually, you know, live it, I think your perspective is completely different. Now, going over there, you know, we had uh, no idea what to what to expect. Uh, only thing from Rwanda I ever knew was the movie Hotel Rwanda uh, with uh, Michael uh, God, I can't forget, forget his name. Michael Ch Chill. Hold on. Okay, I had to Google it. Don Cheadle. There we go. Um, War Machine from from the Avenger movies and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we had no no idea what to expect besides what I you know saw from the movie, you know, 15 years ago or however long it was. So my perspective going into this mini documentary and to a different country was open mindedness. You know, it was uh, one of one of excitement, one of adventure, one of curiosity one of understanding, uh, also one of, you know, doing the story, the people and the history um, justice, uh, and also, you know, to, to be as compassionate uh, and patient as possible. It's been about a month or so, almost about a month um, since the United States went on uh, went on quarantine officially, and especially here in California, um, you know it's it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster ride for millions of us, um, literally millions of us across the nation, and uh, I feel that 
there's there's so much uh, headline reading, which is normal. You know, that's not anything that is new, um, but I think more so uh, the fear based uh, news headlines is what gets a lot of people right. Not to say that that that's the fault of I mean, it is. I don't know. It probably is a fault of the news and media, um, not all of it, but I would say, you know, um, a good majority of it um, is is interesting, right? Because their perspective is, well, let's feed, um, uh, let's give information or let's create content, let's create, let's create news um, based upon what people want to see, right? So that's their perspective. And then as a, um, I guess as like a people, sometimes our perspective is we want to see tragedy and we want to see harm, we want to see violence, we want to see, um, things that are stimulating, right? And uh, stimulating in a way that for some reason is not um, based upon kindness. Um, even those uh, even though those uh, those pieces of news content do get out, like humanitarian efforts and nonprofit stuff and just random acts of kindness, literally just random acts of kindness, right? Like some, some person buying a, a, a turkey meal on Thanksgiving for like a homeless family, right? Like they, the news does show that kind of stuff. Um, but right now it's, it's just a full of, I like 99% the news is just full of constant worry, constant, um, uh, bickering and, and, and blaming, you know, and finger pointing. And there isn't really a, not a lot of, um, perspective of how this can help out, uh, the nation as a whole, a country as a whole, and also as like a world as a whole, right? A humanity as a whole. Perspectives do change over time, right? Um, you could have one perspective on something, an idea, um, a person or, or an institute. And then a few years later, you might have a completely different perspective um, of, of those people, of those concepts, of those institutions. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, when, when, when you're trying to see the world from multiple uh, lenses, so to speak, right? It's paramount that you take the time to understand what is actually happening, right? Doing your due diligence, just like when we were in Rwanda, doing our due diligence, um, uncovering the facts, the truths um, uh, that have already been laid out, right? Through education and stuff like that. And then actually, you know, interviewing, um, listening to the stories of real people who, who lived, um, uh, tragedy who lived through and came out on the other side um, from very uh, from very dismal uh, very dismal times in their lives my heart it's, I feel I, it's overwhelming um, but I feel joyful for you that you are here and that you have children <laughs> What are we supposed to do in these moments now? Um, you know, as um, as freelancers, as creatives, uh, or even if you just have a regular nine to five job. You know, um, it's not it's not going to be easy. I don't think it ever really was easy, but um, and now you know we're all faced with um, difficult roadblocks uh, straight ahead of us. I think what can help is uh, modifying or changing your your perspective. Um, because if you do allow yourself to stay in a space where um, the doubt or the fear or the uncertainty is ruling your uh, your mindset or your attitude and you know those uh, always just become your actions, then it becomes very uh, debilitating. You know, you're not gonna be, uh, you're not gonna give yourself the, the motivation or the inspiration to, to succeed when things do come back around. And I'm in the same boat as, you know, most of you are in. Um, you know, for me as a, as a freelance cinematographer and as a small business owner, if I'm not, you know, filming or editing or, you know, doing a mixture of, of both of them, uh, I'm not making any money. And if I'm not making any income, um, you know, forget about even making a profit for my business. It's just staying afloat. It's keeping the doors open. It's being able to provide um, basic necessities like food, utilities, gas for my car, um, 
overhead mortgage for my home, things like that, you know? Um, so for, for, a lot, for a lot of us, it's, uh, it's our perspective that's gonna get us through um, these next, you know, one month, two month, three month uh, phases. I believe the most difficult part is keeping the perspective um, when it needs to be uh, when it needs to be consistent. You know, so if you need to change your perspective of um, more more hope based, more faith based, um, more positivity and optim optimistic based, is how do you stay consistent with that? You know, day after day, uh, week after week, uh, when you're not when you're not able to do what it is that you um, are passionate of doing you know for me my passion is is filmmaking you know it's creating content it's creating stories um for you know businesses for brands um, short films narrative documentary the whole the whole gamut so when you take that away from from me maybe you're in the same boat but you're like a, a musician or you're a singer or you're a, a dancer or you know whatever it is right it, when you have that thing removed from your life you you sort of lose your identity, you know, and you sort of lose your inspiration for your your purpose for just being alive, you know. Um, now, granted, we all have family, we all have friends, we all have you know loved ones that were um, that were so fortunate to still have with us. That being said, when you um, aren't actively doing things, you know, when you aren't participating in your own reality, um, in your in your filmmaking career, in your cinematography or your um, video content creation career, uh, it's very it's very depressing and it's very and difficult to maintain that consistent change in perspective that'll get you going when things do come back around. And I think that's kind of the takeaway here is things you know things are very uh, cyclical, um, just like uh, like you know life. Life itself is cyclical. It's it goes around in a circle. You know we have seasons like uh, spring. Uh, summer, fall, winter, they, they don't stay, they, they cycle around, you know, and just like this COVID-19 pandemic, this will cycle around, you know, just like everything else does. Um, it may stay longer than any of us had hoped for, um, but I feel that, you know, it's, it's just like everything else in life is it has to go through um, a phase, and then once the phase is done, then there's, you know, balance is sort of restored, right? Uh, much like, I don't want to say that's directly how like the genocide in, in Rwanda happened. I don't think that was a cycle. I feel like, um, actually a fun fact, not a fun fact, but a fact is like the 1994 was like the biggest genocide, um, meaning that there were actually multiple genocides happening prior to 1994. Um, it was just that the one in 1994 that happened was kind of like, um, COVID-19 where it just, it just blew up um, exponentially and no one thought it would be uh, at such a great magnitude. Change your perspective, um, if you can. You know, grow out of the the current uh, state uh, state of mind that you're in, because if it's not one of optimism, if it's not one of of hope and um, and faith, then regardless if you if you you know have a religion or, or religious beliefs, you know just have faith that things will come around. Um, because if you continue to mope around, if you continue to you know be uh, in a negative space, that's definitely not going to support you when the economy comes back around, when the world um, opens back up. 
um, because you're going to stay in that state. And um, no one wants to work with <laughs> anyone that's negative or um, uh, not, uh, you know, n- not having an, an open mind, so to speak, right? So, you know, change your perspective, um, adapt to how things are right now, continue to, uh, you know, find sources that you can learn from, you know? So even though you're not filming, at least, you know, do things where you're maybe uh, signing up for a master class or you're watching some YouTube tutorials, um, you're continuing to further your education. Maybe you're practicing things around the home so that um, you know your 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 skill set, your techniques stay sharp. And um, you know it's better to to be prepared and not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared, right? And I don't know, man. I think um, I think that a lot of us are. I don't know. I, 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 I feel that, that things are coming around. Um, it's just our own perspective. It's our own state of mind that needs to change, you know, and not uh, kind of sitting passively back and, and allowing um, other things, people, government, news to tell us um, the opposite, you know. Obviously stay informed and stay educated on everything that's happening, but, you know, at the end of the day, like, if, if all your perspective, if the only lens you have, right, say is like a um, a, uh, a a 135 millimeter lens, if that's, only, if that's the only way you look at things, it's very narrow-minded, you know, it's very just one way of looking at, so- at something. Um, so, you know, change your perspective, change the lenses you use, so that way you get the bird's eye view of everything, and then you get the the detailed view of everything that um, that you need to support you. Grateful in this moment that I had the opportunity to go to Rwanda, see a different people, see a different culture, a different country, a different way um, of how things are are um, uh, are done. You know, operationally, um, different, just different energy. You know, energy of gratitude, energy of kindness and compassion. And I hope that, you know, for anyone still watching this, um, you can also take away, you know, the values of compassion and empathy and um, just having a connection to the greater humanity as a whole, you know, because we're all going to get through this. Um, but it's up to each and every one of us at the individual level to to make that change and to, you know, be the change we wish to see. And um, I don't know, hopefully that, hopefully that can help all of you guys out. Thank <laughs> you.